Hey, in this video it's gonna be what's wrong with my boat. So, as you can see I found my little corner um, next to my galley, fit on the dagger board case. Um, everything is pretty clean, but obviously I found a few things that need to be uh, fixed and I will go through the video and showing what my week has been up to as in uh, assessing and, uh, and organizing the job. So, enjoy! That's what I like. I love this. And look, yeah, yeah, it's a red boat. It's a rice boat, but it's a pretty comfy bed. <laughs> oh, that's what a day of laundry and drying and cleaning the mold looks like. So, yeah. Pretty empty inside now. Um, still need to wipe the mold, but it's good to get to know more in detail. Hopefully, it dries before it gets dark. And I can put that everything in the boat. Beautiful day today, no wind, so we're not gonna finish in the manuela somewhere. Hey, um, day number two of cleaning Asta, so can't resist to share the joy of cool new boat ownership with you. So. Um, yeah, you, uh, you generally uh, get a bit of products. Um, I like to use um, the, the stuff that's like clove and uh, eucalypt and you put that water and you wipe the wood board. So, and then you find blockers and you go, ooh, what's that in there? You look in there and just a lot of mold. So, you really want to close the lid generally back. <laughs> look all the same way. What's interesting and that's cool like you find things like this is to get rid of the of the rig um if the mass fall or anything to get the, the stays and um it's gonna need a a good soak in some oil or something because obviously I don't think that's not gonna go to cut any rig uh anytime soon. I try to open it not not any it's not to use so yeah here I am my muddy boat I bought a lot of mold I'm um, still happy and uh, keeping in touch. Bye. So what is wrong with my boat? Well, there's a couple of um, of back plates that's getting some uh, some rot and um, a couple of things that have been done like in the bulkhead. I need to fix that. I don't know what happened there. Uh, screws sticking out everywhere. Nothing to change in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. It's a bit rotten there so I could pull out. And then a couple of nicks on the on the hull and on the reinforcement there we, we have some delamination um, happening so um, it's a couple of things that are probably okay for um, for the bay bay race but um, definitely not for offshore um, yeah and some of the stringer need to be replaced. Um, both side. I've got also like some holes that need to be plugged and leak, and also the windows are need to replace in because they all done the leak. So it's pretty common on boats. And uh, when you go to the front, there's uh, some serious reinforcement to be done on that stringer there. You can see it, but it's pretty fully way really delaminated there. So I has fixed a bit. Um, yeah, it's been fixed already in some patches um, there and also. It's not big, uh, it just has to be done. Probably hatch, hatch starting to rot too, some of them. And um, yeah, so that's uh, for the few little jobs. Uh, could identify structurally to the boat. Um, otherwise, it looks like a uh, or the autopilot next fixing um, and the solar panel that are on deck um, are quite small so they don't keep up with the fridge um, they don't keep up with the instrument they, they're good for racing but not really for cruising long term so I'm gonna need to change that so not flexible ones um, yeah little things the wires to go inside not outside 
and um, yeah, so totally feel a little improvement and a little, little job. I also got a gas system assessment and the burners are so rusty I need to change them. I'm still waiting on the rig inspection and I got a moisture meter to check the armas. A couple of pulleys need to be changed on the deck as well as the main halyard is chafing against something in the mass, so it's something that I need to look at. Uh, I took the time to pass my boat license, uh, that was a bit of a joke, and I also got the first aid. I might try to fast track the LYS keeper ticket, so my crew is a bit uh, more reassured. And finally the insurance, I'm currently talking to several um, companies, but yeah, tri are a bit of a pain to insure and everyone knows about it. I can't wait until I take care for herself, seriously, uh, time seems to be long. In the meantime, here is a little song I wrote when I was in confinement in France. And thank you for following Hasta la Vista. Time was long in confinement. Thanks for following!